Hello everyone, and welcome back to Absolute Pain. Don't you mean Subnautica Below Zero? That's the one. I'm Ran Giacomo. Loki is here to watch me suffer as usual. And last time we had decided that we'll go to the Crystal Caverns. Today I decided we still have one last place to explore here. And I'm gonna hate it. Want to bet which one it is, Doc? You're gonna go say hi to Mr. Snowy. That's one word for it. Listen, he just wants to give you a hug. Mm hmm. With all of his teeth. Alright, so... I know there's something up there, but I'm, I don't actually know exactly where. So I did hear that the spy dangling might be necessary for it. say about the first Subnautica, it was a lot better at telling you where you're supposed to go. Yeah. I'm dumb. You should probably build a land base. Hmm, maybe. Okay, so this is where he normally is, and I need to go no. Somehow. Remember to dodge. I will try. What? You don't remember Piccolo's training? Uh. I mean, remember the training that doesn't mean it's useful. But it is useful. Well, that's something right there. Is it useful? No. No, it's not. Don't really need silver, I think. Or food for that matter. Really? That hurt me? Okay, so... Just to be safe... Okay, so... With some luck, going up here should... Give me out of it. Been here before, obviously. Seriously, seriously though, how, how does that hurt me? Ah, uh, either way. I have definitely gone down there because of that. Uh, 
need to dodge harder and stop getting off your thing. I'm not getting off it. I'm getting knocked off. I'm getting knocked off it. By the way, it's at 50% health. Yeah, well. By the way, you have a friend. Was it not this way? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how to get past it. No, not the Hogris, damn it. What you need to do is drive faster. Yes, very useful. This might actually be the right way. What I also need to do is this. Oh great, it's becoming nighttime. Perfect timing. You have a flashlight. I do. Remember to use it. It's on six. Oh yeah, I do. Okay, so there's that over there. There's also this over here. Mm -hmm. Which leads to another cave? Welcome to hell. Weather's great oh. here. Been here before! This leads right back to Robotics Lab. At least I know about that now. Or, you know, about the other direction, I suppose. Now I just need to figure out how to keep going. I kinda dropped my thumper. Hopefully I won't need it. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. The screaming means it knows where you are. You know, that's pretty far south to be headed north. Hello! Well, I am on top of that area now. That was completely useless. It didn't actually lead anywhere. <laughs> I think. All right. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. That's fucking broken. Oh, 
Uh... How am I not there? Because you followed Master Piccolo's advice. Yes, I can hear you, Ellen. Now shut the fuck up. <laughs> you need to dodge. I know. How is that thing not killing me? Because you dodged. Oh yeah, fair enough. Mm. Mm. Listen, the only trick is you need to maintain your health above zero while reducing the enemy's health to zero. So maintain my health above zero because I cannot kill it. That sounds like quitter talk to me. Hmm, you might be right. Okay, so there's more that way. Actually, that might just be the way back, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, but let me confirm and mark it on the map. Ran, we literally can see it connecting to the other area, to the way back in the map. I mean, it could have had another pathway out. Yes, but you can check that on the way back. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Stay away from me, stay away from me, stay away from me, stay away from me. <laughs> And then you wouldn't have had to dodge! <sighs> you need to keep going that direction. I know. Or at least I You might want to so. start using your flashlight for the benefit of the audience, because I can't see shit. Fair enough. I did not think about that. What, you don't want to go down the hole? Not yet. Hey, buddy. Are you gonna nibble Rand's giblets? Surely. Or not. By the way, you might want to follow the architect piping. Yeah, kind of figures. Fine, I guess I'll go down. And you snapped your ankles. I think I found the right place. Yep, this, uh, this sure seems like the right place. Oh, hello there. Keep an eye on cube. Always useful. Yay! Progress! I think this was the first architect component that I found. Ah. Wouldn't surprise me. That is a rough way to go. Yes, I would not enjoy being crushed while mining iron cube components. The cold preserved the body well, but this isn't a big sample. Will it be enough? Our tissues are pluripotent, derived from the DNA of various species, capable of changing form as necessary. Ah, like stem cells. So, what prevents you from, I don't know, ending up with hooves where your eyelashes should go? That does not happen. At least not since the fourth iteration. <laughs> Which means it happened in iterations one through three. <laughs> yep. Good to know they sorted that issue up real quick. 
mean, to be fair... Oh, what? You not gonna... Nope. Don't you still need to find the Omega Lab? Uh, that's somewhat else. found two of the three components required for the construction of my corporeal form. This is as close as I have come to autonomy in a long time. You have such a way with words. Is that sarcasm? It was. You're learning. Hopefully, I will not have time to complete my study. <laughs> I was wondering, if you can transfer bodies, why was it important to find a cure when you were infected? Couldn't you just make a new body? As you can see in the components you have scanned thus far, the forms we require combine biological and mechanical parts. The tissues you have scanned were developed from the DNA of 27 separate alien species. 27? That seems greedy. And wouldn't that mean that anything that infects a body you've manufactured can potentially learn how to infect all those other species? Yes. That is why a cure was imperative. Yeah, fair enough. Can't argue with that logic. I mean, I can. Just saying, it was still important. And the argument is, fuck off and find a new planet. <laughs> I mean, what's to say they didn't? I mean, it does seem like they did. Alright, so I know the Omega Lab is somewhere in the uh what's what was it called again? The Lilipad Islands or something? What I don't remember is where those islands were. My were by scary lady. Uh, so probably not. Is there. it bad that that's still what I call her, scary lady? <laughs> Sounds about right, really. So we've checked all of those. Was she again? I think it might actually have been in this area. So I guess I'll just start heading towards the scanner room. And you know, if we start seeing giant rocks hanging from massive lily pads, then we know we have found the right area. Shouldn't be difficult. You know, other than angry and um, angry things trying to kill the shit out of us. Yo. But that's what we have the self defense module. But that's why we have it. Yeah. That's, that's the thing. I should probably try mapping some of this stuff. There's a... Like, that entire biome is jellyfish, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Kelp Forest is near the lily pad islands. Which means we should be close. That's... The lily pad islands is also a good place to find lead. I can imagine. I don't think we don't take a forest anymore. Am I even going the right way? No, no I'm not. You're in the vent gardens. Yeah. I the... think 
the lily pad forest is on the other side. Okay. Other side it is. Other side of the vent garden, so keep going where you're going. Or so maybe page. on the right. All right. Yeah, head like southwest. How come I can get some of these directions right, but I can't? But I usually can't find my way in a straight a... hallway. I could get lost in a fucking bathroom. Yep. Haven't actually been in this area. Maybe it's. Well, you haven't been in this area since you downloaded the mod. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, it might be further west. I know the lily pad islands are connected directly to the vent gardens. It might help if I did this. Okay, so those are the vent oh. gardens. So it's probably here, I was actually. Wrong. It was east, not west. <laughs> So they might actually be like right on top of where we place the thermal base. Go figure, right? Listen, I can read a compass. That said, weast. So yeah, it should be either here or maybe it's here. No, probably not. Or maybe. There's something after me, isn't there? Hello! Fuck off! Okay, so they don't seem to be here. Well, there's something there. I don't think those are the right ones. Okay, which fire is the green one? It's the green biome. I did say that I probably got my east and west mixed up. My sense of direction fails me again! Huzzah! Yep, yeah, and we just have to figure out which one of these is the Omega Lab. I mean, there's tubes and stuff, but... They seem to be mostly just cut off. That one's massive, but doesn't seem to have an entrance. I think I found it. Yep. This is the one that's outright gigantic, so it's got to be this one, right? Possibly. Is the Omega Lab inside it or something? That's what it said. Yeah, 
uh, I do have to say, oh, I saw it. Yeah, it's right there. I do have to say, the previous Subnautica game well, was a I, lot better at, uh... I think that's the Omega Lab. No fucking shit. Swim charge fiends, okay. They charge your held item. Oh, cool. Remember to use your flashlight. I challenged your spy pendling to a foot race earlier. Yeah, and it was ten things. Losing to me. Ouch. <laughs> what if I've been letting you win so I could see you smile? Cute. But I don't believe it. There are easier ways to make someone smile. Easier than losing a foot race? Oh, I think you're a woman with many talents. What are you implying? The artwork that appeared in my lab the other day? Oh, that. A study in Parhelion Red. I assume you had Remember something Remember flashlight. To do with that. that depends. Yeah, you like it. you're trying to like the person stand things. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were flirting with me. Do you Wish I could do both, you know? I don't know what I know anymore. Not when you're looking at me like that. Oh my. We get it! You're gay! <laughs> get a room! I mean, they did. I think. <laughs> We've studied the first corral bacteria samples from the specimen. Results are promising. Hey, Rand, we were able to you stimulate something. rapid multiplication of cells hey, in a controlled environment. Yeah, I saw a scan the creation button. of several different mutations with potentially uh... applications. Think of the possibility. It was life-saving treatments, genetic research. Oh. It could be a window to understand the evolution. Oh shit! I need to get back. The findings could move us forward by years. We recommend a wider study using samples collected from a greater variety of sites around the original posture. <laughs> that was close. We trust you will provide the necessary security to do so. The Leviathan site must be protected. So, do you know what you're looking for in here? Nope. Remember, flash the light. Ah! Okay. Light the flash. So, there's another PDA. No one that matters, it seems. Little box. What's this? Oh. Never mind. Investigation notes. Omega Lab was first breached by heavy impact. Perhaps from a sea track modified with some sort of battering implement. A localized explosive charge was then released and detonated from a distance. Lab equipment was damaged to the point of inoperability, and all live specimens were destroyed. No personnel was injured. Samples have been collected for analysis to determine whether any bacteria escaped. It is, however, unlikely. The heat of the charge should have boiled hey, Ren, you missed a scan a somewhere. radius. It was back by that table. You, you went over it again. Oh. Well, I don't know exactly what I was looking for here. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. But... I mean, there's always the good old reliable look it back up, look back to your other monitor where you probably have the article pulled up. Yeah, it, and it's actually been 30 minutes already, so I'm gonna call it for now and figure that out. So, yeah. Bye bye <laughs>